This is Caesar with Nursing School Made Easy. Again, back to uh, my nursing students out there that are preparing for either their NCLEX exam or a classroom exam. Today, our focus will be the pancreas. We're going to be talking about the about something called pancreatitis. Now, again, we are looking at a CT study, a CAT scan, and more specifically, this is a CAT scan of the abdomen. And to be more specific, this is a CAT scan with IV and oral contrast. Now, again, they have been injected with some type of or iodinated contrast, and we can see that being here in the blood vessels. And they also have oral contrast, and we can see that in the stomach here. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with CT studies, um, let's just give you a brief overview of what you are looking at. This is the right side of the patient. This is the uh, left side. And here we have the liver. This entire structure here, here above the diaphragm, we have left, excuse me, right lung, left lung. Here we have the heart. And this circular structure here is the stomach. Now right below the stomach is a feathery looking organ here. That is the pancreas. Now to the right of that we have the gallbladder. The gallbladder sits right underneath the liver. Now this is very important because of its location. Here we have uh, the pancreas in the left upper quadrant. Now remember that okay because right now I'm going to switch this and we're going to give you a different type of view. This is uh, if I were to be looking at my patient um, face to face head on. Okay. So let's go ahead and pause this and then I'll show you a different view. Okay, here we have again a different view of what we were just looking at. And again, here we have the liver. Right underneath the liver is the gallbladder. Here we have the stomach. And here you can see the oral contrast in the stomach very, very well. Now this black structure here in the stomach is simply air. Okay, and here this feathery looking organ is the liver, excuse me, the pancreas. Um, Again, the pancreas, the liver is on this side. And here we have spleen, kidney, aorta. Okay, and previously I told you that the pancreas sits in the left upper quadrant. Now look at where it sits next to, it sits right next to the stomach. Now this is very important because people or your patients that are suffering from pancreatitis will have epigastric pain or left upper quadrant pain. And now you know why, because again, the pancreas sits in the left upper quadrant, okay, so that is very important for your test. If the patient comes in complaining of epigastric pain, left upper quadrant pain, they have a history of maybe alcoholism or consuming high amounts of fatty meals, fatty products, lots of cheeseburgers, that kind of thing, lots of french fries on a daily basis, maybe pizza, cheese pizza, all that good stuff, all that delicious tasting stuff. Um, they may have a likelihood of having something called uh, pancreatitis. Now you're asking yourself why would a high fat meal or high fat diet cause pancreatitis? Well, we talked about the gallbladder. Now sometimes you can have uh, gallstones, gallbladder stones develop in your gallbladder, hence the name of gallbladder stones. Now remember that the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct will dump into um, the small intestine there's a point where they meet together okay now if you have a stone and it's small enough to actually go through a duct but not to pass it completely it will cause a blockage now if the pancreas is dumping pancreatic enzymes such as amylase and lipase Remember that amylase and lipase, the they, um, enzymes break down things. They eat up, they digest. Okay, so if all those enzymes are backing up into the pancreas, the enzymes will begin to auto-digest the pancreas, and that will cause severe pain. So consuming a high fatty meal would uh, increase the likelihood of you getting gallstones, and those gallstones may cause an obstruction. Now again, if that obstruction occurs, the pancreas is not able to dump the enzymes that it needs to into the small bowel for digestion. And in fact, those enzymes, the amylase and lipase, will begin to auto-digest the pancreas. 
causing a lot of pain. Now, if this occurs also, you will begin to have um, the pancreas be will become inflamed, so your WBC will go up. Now, because of the inf uh, inflammation and infection and the autodigestion, you will also begin to have fluid accumulation in your abdomen. Here we see the liver, um, again, stomach, parts of the large bowel, and again, you will have fluid accumulation which will or which is called ascites okay so remember again you will have left upper quadrant pain and increase in your amylase and lipase levels so you can do some blood work and check for amylase and lipase levels you will have ascites or increased fluid in the abdomen now what you would want to do for these patients is put them um, on an MPO diet or nothing by mouth you would definitely want them to stay away from eating anything because anytime that they do eat something the pancreas is going to be activated it's gonna your brain is gonna tell your pancreas to dump enzymes well that will only increase the abdominal pain and the, the other thing that you may do is put an NG tube into your patient because again if the stomach is dumping its contents into uh, the small bowel well again your pancreas will be um, called upon to secrete its enzymes so you definitely want to remove all material from the stomach and the only way to do that is through an NG tube okay so your patient may have an NG tube in place or the physician may order uh, for an NG tube to be put in place now the, the, the other thing they have to worry about is again your pancreas the beta cells in your pancreas produce insulin well if the pancreas is damaged your pancreas won't be able to produce that insulin that your body requires which means that your blood glucose le levels will increase so you will have to monitor your patient's glucose levels and you may have to um, give some exogenous form of insulin therapy the patient may have not been diabetic before but because now your pancreas is damaged you may have to administer some insulin Okay, so a biggies to consider again, you can have left upper quadrant pain, elevated amylase lipase, elevated glucose levels. You will want to make sure that they are NPO, nothing by mouth, uh, possibly looking at getting an NG to be put in place. Now, because they are not eating anything, you would want to make sure that they are getting the nutrients that they need. So they may at some point or another have uh, the need for TPN okay because again if they're not consuming anything they still need some form of food and that would be provided by uh, TPN therapy so again you would want to monitor their electrolyte levels because again they're not consuming anything so most likely you'll have to start an IV and give the proper IV fluids that way the other thing the biggie is pain control um, again these will be complaining of left upper quadrant pain or epigastric pain so that pain is excruciating remember again those enzymes are pretty much eating the pancreas okay so make sure you treat these patients uh, you, you, you take care of that pain immediately or as soon as you can because again this is excruciating um, an excruciating kind of pain okay uh, again, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or if there is something that you would like for me to cover, by all means, please post it below. And again, good luck on your next exam.